explain about this being oh. like a head. Okay. We're going to measure the deck clearance with this fixture. Okay. All right. This is a fixture we've made for measuring deck clearance. Very rigid. And it's We've similar a to a head as opposed right, to right. what... Which is completely... Can you see the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which represents the cylinder head. That's why we have four holes in it, so we can torque it as if it were a real head. Now we're going to set it on a flat plate. So we have zero clearance between the tool and the plate. We expect to get about 40 thousandths deck out of this measurement, so we're going to preload the dial to 50. For ease of measuring, okay. So if I rock this, you can see that we've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, and the normal amount of give for play in the, any equipment. I'm going to put it on the head or on the block. If we follow it down, We can see that it didn't even come back to zero yet. Now we'll see the effects of torque. So this is the difference between this fixture and what somebody else does is that you're torquing them all evenly mimicking a head as opposed to just a bar that would go across. And right, some people use a bar straight across the, the deck, and by doing that, you're only squashing a portion of the gasket. You can actually damage the gasket or break a barrel sometimes. And you're not going to get an accurate reading. Right, the reading will be off. So, we torque. And we come up in stages so that we don't pull the barrel off angle. Bring it up to about seven pounds the first time through. Okay, now we start coming up further. Now we're at about 12. Pattern doesn't matter much at this point because we're coming up in steps. We come up to 18 pounds. That's what we torque the head to. Now, if you look at the dial, it started off at about negative four. Now we're reading over the other side of zero. So if I roll the piston up, if we had dead zero deck. You're turning the flywheel. Right. I mean the uh, pulley. Pulley. Okay. We're bringing the piston up. If it had zero deck, we would be right there. Right on zero. After a full lap. But we have not even achieved a full lap here. So we know to count backwards 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, then you go on the other side of 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 47 thousandths. I've had this fixture on and off of here three or four times already. And it has repeated within a half a thousand. So that is a guarantee of a good, accurate piece of equipment to measure something. So this engine has 47 thousandths deck. Perfect. We've got 40 thousandths for the actual growth of the rod and piston. And we've got 7 thousandths for carbon buildup. Should be a good deal.